Uh, as far as our readiness are concerned, we have put in place the human capital, that is the polling officials, has been trained in various components. They are ready for the task ahead. Um, the, the, the electoral material uh, is already in the region. All logistics are in place. Right now, as we are busy with, as you can see around, we are busy with finalization of the of the team vehicles that is the transport part which we are still working on. Over 176 teams will be deployed in the entire region with 112 in the north while 61 will be in the southern part of the region. Auseb said the ECN so far is in short of 12 vehicles only in order to cater for 171 teams while the remaining two will be transported with a helicopter to the mountainous areas of the Epupa constituency. As far as the uh, Epupa constituency is concerned, where the um, uh, communities in the mountain, mountainous areas, we will be having two helicopters that will be operating in that part of the, of the region. So we are expecting the two helicopters from uh, Namibian Defense Force on the 26th to be deployed on the 27th. He noted that the team would need more 4x4 four four vehicles among the remaining 12 in order to take officials to areas which are difficult to access with normal cars. He applauded both the government institutions and individuals to make their vehicles available for this national exercise. Be as it may, the Asian coordinator is optimistic that all the teams will be dispatched on the Thursday to poll stations and assured the region's inhabitants that the voting process will start on time. We will invite the public come 27 seven o'clock to go in numbers and cast their votes. Uh, ECN is ready. We will make sure that whatever polling stations that we have identified for 27, seven o'clock will be open on time. Uh, that's the guarantee that we are giving to the Kunene public, the voters and the country at large.